Good morning everyone, hope you're having a nice morning. Uh, it is Monday the 5th of March uh, and unusually here in Scotland the sun split in the skies. Uh, lovely day outside. However, uh, it's all about what's happening inside at the moment and postman's not long away and he delivered this box. Now I don't normally do unboxing, uh, it seemed a bit irrelevant most of the time. Why should you need to unbox? and show it uh, on YouTube or elsewhere as a video. However, this one's slightly different for me anyway, because this is the second item uh, after I had to send the previous one away, which arrived broken. Now, normally that shouldn't be any great problem. However, for myself it was. Basically, uh, when it did arrive, uh, I tried various ways obviously to get it work but it had been damaged in transit uh, and it still had the film uh, across the screen uh, of the monitor. The item actually didn't look damaged uh, at first viewing uh, and after I sent a picture of it with it switched on uh, to the engineers in China and Lilliput uh, they actually told me that the top right hand corner uh, was actually broken on the monitor. Uh, when I examined it then I actually started to peel away the film that, that was on it, uh, I could actually see there was a half crescent uh, shape where uh, I said the, the monitor had been pushed in. Uh, I then sent it, after a bit of a hullabaloo uh, back and forward with them, uh, I sent it away. Uh, because of their explicit instructions on how to post it etc, uh, it cost me £46 to post it uh, back to them. Uh, and then uh, we emailed back and forth, uh, basically one time with them calling me a liar, uh, that uh, I had broken the thing, which uh, was not the case. However, to try and circumvent uh, any more of that, I thought I would do this unboxing. Now as you can see, it arrived this morning, like this. Now. I presume you can pick up the noise, there's stuff rattling about. There's obviously, it's been damaged, uh, the outer packaging here, it's obviously been thrown. Same on this side, uh, there's a couple of uh, marks. Uh, obviously, uh, for me, the first time around, the packaging wasn't secure enough. It can't be, if something was damaged in transit, then the packaging isn't secure enough. And I suspect, that's the problem. Now if I'm having a problem, I presume I'm not alone, that there'll be others. Uh, I'm st still waiting uh, to see whether they'll refund the postage. They should, it actually says it uh, on the website. Uh, and the original package, just to make it clear, uh, when I bought the, the item, it was from a company uh, in the UK. They are clearly seen as a UK company. Uh, and that's where the stuff it was sent out for. Not this one, of course. It's came from China. It's been tracked. I can see where it's it's been. It obviously, says on it the consignment. Uh, it's been uh, to China and back again. So it's obviously the same item that I had. They said it cost them sixty odd pounds to repair it. Uh, very good, but nothing to do with me. As I said, it arrived damaged. Uh, as I said, and I suspect the packaging just isn't strong enough for that type of uh, journey uh, and handling. So I'm just going to switch the video off for a moment because uh, I'm going to actually then I can zoom in slightly more to my hands in the package uh, so that, that it can be seen uh, but that's the only way uh, I think I can cover it and of course it lets you see hopefully uh, exactly what's in the package as well uh, and how it is packaged. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you can see the package clear enough. Uh, I think I've set it up uh, so it can be seen. Uh, so, let's start.
package and ship and it's in Chinese, I don't know if you can see that just to let you know, it's from China video battery battery charger just put that to one side actually appears fine it's obviously a bit maybe compressed from the inside here we go, the actual item itself and this is where the rattle is coming from which for me is not a particularly good sign however let's wait and see Package is lying about. Hold. Power cable. Okay, that's a clock to attach the monitor to the top of your uh, camera. And a flash holder. Oh. These are the battery holders. It takes two different types. Sunshade is marked. If it's plastic, shouldn't be a, a problem. HDMI cable. And of course, the item itself. A bit of packaging. instructions manual and the item I would have thought that it would have had more packaging below the cardboard it's not great however this one looks completely intact this is a film I was saying about earlier I had left this on the previous time and the damage had been done to this tip corner here uh, which, uh, as I said at the time, could not be seen. So, I don't know whether uh, the batteries are the same as the ones that I sent. If they have, they've been charged up. So, hope you forgive me for the taking up a bit more of your time but oh. it helps I put the right thing in the right time the battery holder actually clips into it I think it's, it takes two different types of batteries as far as I'm aware uh, No, no, as obviously the battery's flat, I'll need to charge it up and come back to that one. Right. So perhaps not my battery. I'll need to charge the battery up, but uh, now that we've got it opened anyway, uh, one of the things I said when I, when I first got it is I noticed it's actually with the battery in, it's a bit back heavy. Uh, but a great item for the price, that's the reason why I bought it. Uh, obviously, as, as you can see, one of the big drawbacks to anybody who's doing video at all uh, with a DSLR, at least for myself, especially somebody you see wearing glasses, I need glasses for reading. My distance vision is fine, uh, but what a difference these make. My friend has uh, a model similar to this, and to be actually see, uh, especially in focus, because we're working with such narrow depths of field a lot of the time that uh, critical focus is just that critical uh, because 
it's great, you're filming away, as I have done a, a couple of times, I hate to see it, and then got it back, so, my goodness, when you see it on, the, on HDMI screen, uh, in my monitor next door, uh, it isn't sharp, and if it isn't sharp, it's wasted, basically. Uh, so hopefully this will address that problem that, that I have, uh, and hopefully the next uh, video will uh, be nice and sharp. What I will do though is I'll charge up this battery and come back to this. Uh, I'll leave it set up at the, at the moment uh, and show you it working and I'll maybe go through some of the controls uh, on it and uh, as I said my, f my friend has a model similar. They're absolutely great. Uh, be aware of the problems that I've had though uh, and I'll maybe address them a bit more when uh, I actually get the thing working and try uh, charging up the battery and we'll come back to that so I'll leave you at that one. Thank you.